I'll do it again. Don't worry. This is what easy one. Okay, so you have to go exactly at the same time. Apparently. No, 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 no. We can't. It's best that I land a little bit before because what happens otherwise, Suo, is that if we land at the same time, the targets will be too high from the pile drive, and you won't get any damage done with it. So I should be first, because then. Either you're first, or you come in just a little bit later than me, so they actually drop down a little bit. Because what mm. happens when when Hammond slams is that you pull them towards you, like just no matter where they are. So there's a bigger chance of you actually cleaving more than one person. Yeah, and if I ever got them afterwards anyway, it's pointless if, if you pile driver uh, after me. So you have to pile drive after every boy. So I should be like coming like a right about now, but I, I should have been faster. But obviously, but uh, like Is two seconds after three hundred. Come back. I have a question. All right, guys, happen. Yeah, happen real quick. So Is it here you're gonna? Slam? I'm slamming like this way. I can slam it here even. I can slam it probably here. Do it here as well. Just... Let me ask you a second. I'll try. It. <laughs> Does it remember your name in here? It does. Nice. Are we doing the same software again? Yes. yes. Put the link in, in chat. It's around here. I'm missing Harry though. I'm up there either. Really? I'm missing him. Yeah, but you're not deaf and striking it. No, you. I'm gonna go take a piss. Be right back. Okay. Look at this. We are waiting for Carrie to leave. Yeah, I'm Hannah. Sorry. Oh. Also, just to know, by the way, check this out. I can do a rollout. Mm. Like this. Mm. Look. Like this. We can one shot people if you actually manage to set up there. That would be easy. Oh, it's easy. It's really easy. I just get here. Yeah. So now, right? always... But can you swap to this door? So. Can you hit this door too? Yeah. Give me a good. I can actually just do it like this. Yeah, okay. No, that is good. Because we don't know which exit they take over. So after we take point, I should position myself like here. So long as there's no All one right. left, right? But yeah, hmm? So long as there's no one else left, yeah. yeah. Like, that we need to kill here. I can even do, like, uh, give me a second. Yeah, I can do All a right. crazy reload. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Is everyone here? Yeah. Look. Okay. Okay. Oh. Back real quick. Come on, Sua. Okay. I uh, <laughs> we're just going over and rollouts on the red with uh, the, yeah, the I know, really I crazy one. Yeah, you doing that, but right, I'm here, I'm here. We can start. Okay. Um so obviously this is Hanamura. 
somebody recording real quick before we go through 30 minutes of this. I can't. My desktop recording doesn't work. I'll try. Last time we just fucked up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we usually have our diva here, and then usually play on the roof of the mega over here, right? And we have our supports back here. Which is great. Because the sight lines. But then we like play our Zarya and Brig over here on point. And what happens is the other team, if they rotate right, our supports do a big rotation. And our Zarya and Brig kind of get stuck, right? Now, this starting position right here is not ideal, but it can work if... No, no, it's just not good. We just can't do this, right? Um, and we used to start over here. That's where you should be starting, right? Should mm -hmm. be starting over here. Because if they go right... And we get a good rotation off from our supports. Um, you're going to want to rotate through main or into them if we can hit a big nade. Right? One of the two. But, but you don't want to be standing on point because that opens up the right rotation. See, if you're standing over here, they're going to be a little bit more hesitant to rotate in this direction. What if they just do this? Well, that's perfect, right? If they rush you, that's totally fine. Because you have the both supports right over top of you, safe on a high ground. And we can bring in our tanks from these angles. And now we're pressuring them from two angles. We should hit the nade. Um, we'll definitely have Discord. But it'll be really good for our dive tanks. We can play in that space. It's a lot easier to get splits off. Okay. Um, so what if they do this? Well, then we have dive tanks. And you're still in a great position, right? If you're over here, you're still in this nice group. And then at this point, our dive tanks should be taking up the position on the high ground. And what we do is we bring in our... Um, right, so we have our supports and then we bring in our Zarya and our break on this side and our tanks our dive tanks pressure from main um and I know that his dive tanks especially as Winston you're gonna want to walk around the scaffolding and pressure from up top back there but it's going to be difficult to get a nice clean engage off like that right because we're not likely to hit the long-range nade into this space. We kind of want to bait them out onto this side of the point, right? We want to bait them mm -hmm. over circles so we can try and hit that nade. Also, at this point, if they're over there, supports, rotate lower. Don't stay up there. Rotate lower um, so that you can get those better sight lines. And what you can even do, right, for our setup here, if our dive tank's here, we have our... Zarya and our brig here. We can rotate our Zen lower and we can rotate our Anna out to here for better nade angles. Alright, the Zen needs tighter angles because um, he's going to be peaking because he can go without LOS for the three seconds. Your Anna wants wider angles so you can come out here, Yoshi, to have this wider angle um, over the point. It makes you more likely to hit the nades. And now we're creating um, two really clean lines of vision on the other team. Can you even Sudoku your Anna just to get the nade in? Um, the setup time for the Anna is really long. Um, you'd have to guarantee the whole, like, all the kills. Part of the composition is the Anna healing, right? Because you guys are just beefing yeah, yeah. around. And then also the nano boost, right? Like, we're basically throwing away your I'm wondering if, like, uh, yeah. if enemy team push here, mm -hmm. like this area, and our Anna rotates from here to here, and just forces the nade in, and then we just clap them. 
but that will probably cost Arena every time. Um, it actually might not if you clap them fast enough. It's also possible to hit that nade from longer out, right? Like, it is. The, the other team has put themselves on point. Yosho has all of this space that he can rotate through. But let's say they have like awareness and they have a good diva player and they'll just eat the nade every time if he tries to long range it from here. Then you might have to find your I mean, then you might find yourself in a situation where you just have to go and eat to get the nade in. Yeah. Usually <clears throat> what I do when I'm nading is like I don't directly nade them, I just look for spots where I can hit them. They hit the all of them without even touching them. In a way. You yeah, really wanna hit like this area into a wall. Essentially, I'm using it for essentially the bell or a little uh, more corner. I hit everyone. That's usually what I do. What makes it hard to mm -hmm. hit nade at the same time? So we just come. Basically, what we're doing is we're just kiting with the carry here, mm -hmm. like whatever direction they come. We just try yeah. to kite them as long as we can, and then we burst them when we hit the nade. But you guys are still playing front one here. Yes, but that is what this is like the games we played, especially against goats with this composition. Mm -hmm. Almost every time what happens is carry or me die like really early. Yeah. It's just like it's so much damage, it's just, you just can't take that much. Mm -hmm. And you just die, and then um, we're down to you already. Another thing about the nade is that one of the best ways to use it is on engage. A lot of times, divas will throw down their matrix to like run in and shoot and missile something that you're hard engaging on and that'll leave you with a big opening um to throw nades in on the other team especially if you can hit the back line with that but like this this circle here this one on the right side this is your zone that we're playing in right that is the line that we've drawn um and the tanks will engage from their angle into the other team once they meet this circle right so uh, at the point when they push in, is uh, is Pickle supposed to just matrix as long as he can, or is he like conserving it for something? Uh, or... It kind of depends, right? If the other team um, is purple, then you and Carrie's job is to live as long as possible through good bubble usage, rotation, shield rotation, while the dive tanks kind of clean up. Whatever is um, purpled should mm -hmm. also be discorded. If the other team is still healthy, then um, we discord something inside of their team. <clears throat> Probably not the Reinhardt. It's not going to be our primary focus right here. And we, and the reason why is because we create such a nice vision split, right? We can. Discord something that's a little bit deeper in um, in the back line and go really aggressively for that kill. And at that point, yeah, we're trying to preserve you and carry because this isn't the fight that we really want to take. So we'll it'll mostly just be cleave. We'll go in and poke. We'll look to build ultimates. We'll try and um, regain our HP without giving up the point and regain our cooldowns. Um, one thing to keep in mind, though, too, right? Like, a lot of times when we set up, this is the rotation that killed me the most. Um, let's say they push right side, but they leave them up there. And you and carry go over here, right? Yep. This is super split. This is groups of two. Now, we want to play... So we're still playing version of goats. <clears throat> We still want to be a nice tight block. The Diva and Winston will be coming in from different angles, but you still have this solid unit that we have to play with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions for defensive first? Well, about uh, using matrix, I think that yeah. really rarely you want to use all of your matrix just holding it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can agree with that. Um, I guess. Do you want to be more careful with it? Though I will say this, it takes a bigger hit on your resource meter when you turn it on than it does for continued use. Um, so it, it's one of those things that kind of depends on what they're necessarily running, right? If they're using the um, the matrix in a way that 
or no, if they're using heroes that have more burst ability, then you can use the matrix in a more burst way. But if there's a lot of sustained pressure, then you'll want to use it in a more sustained way. Um, so, for instance, you could use it in a burst way to eat like a Moira ball or to Full absorb it in right click if you see it coming. Or, yeah. Um, but if you're if you're dealing with like a soldier, you're gonna want to eat up as much of his shots as possible and focus it down quickly. Coming. Not that I'm saying that we'll probably ever see a soldier in here. The question Momo mm -hmm. asked mainly was that when they engage here, should we should I matrix them all the time, like till it's out? Mm -hmm. Survivability, but I don't know if it's worth it to waste the matrix for that. Yeah, and like I said, it's dependent on whether or not the other team is purpled. If they're purpled, we want the extra damage because we can get aggressive on that, and that aggression will work defensively as well. If they're not purple, then um, we're going to have to play a little bit more defensively, so you'll be using more Matrix because we have to keep our Zarya and our Brig alive. Um, uh, so one thing I... I will say before we go on is that a lot of teams don't hold first point of this map, right? Like, we've done really well against Sim compositions that come in here. I have a feeling we'll do pretty well versus DPS compositions, but versus a Ghost composition we're going to have a hard time. It's doable, don't get me wrong, but we're going to have a hard time, right? <laughs> um, first point is not the main point that you try and hold on this map since, well, for a long time now. Um, I have one more question. Yeah. Uh, we, I'm assuming we can give the ticks on this. We don't have to contest the point all yeah. the time. Uh, yeah, we can give up. Yeah, low survivability. We can, even, we can even give up the entire point in order to conserve ultimates to make sure we just burn as much time on second or four. But what I hate about like giving them point is that uh, most likely we're going to end up with a stagger, and then we're going to get rolled on second point. No, yeah, what I mean is instead of committing all the map. But if they already have the point and we're still fighting there, it's like if they kill, let's say, two people later than the rest of the team, that's a huge fucking stagger. They can just push main and probably finish them up with that. Yeah. Um, you can I give won't up force tick. the point at the end. You can give up a tick to, uh, to get the better fight, but you can't really give up two, right? Because if you give up that second tick in order to win the fight, after that, you can't lose the fight. Because one tick isn't enough time for you to get your proper resets in before the next point starts. Mm. So you can give up most of a second. You can't give up a whole second tick, really. Um, or you're more all in on the fights. And once you give up that second tick, like let's say you do, to get that fight went off, after that you're all in on the fights. You have to engage first and then hit the nade during that engage. And then clean up. You can win the fight and you go back to second because you don't. <laughs> that would be funny. Almost yeah. like, let's say if we lose second tick on point two, we just like always have somebody sitting on the corner here or something like mm -hmm. uh, Zen or Anna. Uh, which we'll get to that in a second. Uh, the first thing we need to, or the next thing that we need to do about point A is like a rotation thing. So if you have your Zen and your Anna up here and they're going to try and push through this side, right? Then. You can rotate them, but if they're pushing high ground, first you rotate them to the point, and then if they go all the way that way, um, you can bring them around, but your Zarya and your Zen have to go main. Right? So your first rotation is that your Zarya and your Zen will end up out here in main, and your Ana and your, um, or no, your Zarya and your Brig will end up on your main. Ana and your Zen will end up here. Be in the point. careful though, because you have to. And make this sure. is assuming that the other team is over here. Yeah, but like what I meant is like 
from that bridge I just highlighted there, it's a very mm-hmm. short rush distance to that point. You know? Yeah. So um, as soon as they push this hike, our nice points start pushing here, right? Yeah. Like, but usually though, like whenever whenever they go in here, I usually always drop from the high ground and I go to this corner because I can still jump back and I follow around just to bait yeah. down. Like I don't engage on them. I've mm-hmm. done that all the games and I, I've just been left alone and I can come in behind them we engage yeah the idea here right is obviously what they're going to want to do is if they see our supports rotating through this open space they're going to want to rush on. by positioning our tanks in main like this they'll have to go through the tanks to get to the supports right because there's this wall here so unless like if they get out on the bridge we see that we begin rotating and they want to jump off the bridge to try and engage on that we have our tanks in between them and our supports, and we can bring in our dive tanks into wherever we want on their team um, from that point. And it'll create the same kind of tanks in front situation where you guys are frontlining for the supports. That's why you rotate through main. Um, um, uh, what does the Bleak and Salia do if they come from up here and watch the point? Then they're like, well, the supports are going to pull back to here. Um, yeah. and then they're all split up. All the way to this high ground over there. Supports rotate this way, and the Brigand Zarya take up positions right here. And, um, our Winston will already be out, and he can take up another split position. Right. And so no, then... Back at the point, though. Put our supports here, and we have our Zarya and our Brig main. And, um... We have our Winston. You said you come around to like over here, Seth. Sorry. You said yeah. you come around there. Yeah, and so basically, you cursor, leave and like I, go. I just usually drop. You know, mm-hmm. park this wall. Like I see if they are going lower first before I go mm-hmm. close or top. And if they go top, I go close to the bridge instead. Like just trying to bait them down or to engage that way. Instead, you... So you basically be playing this area. So yeah, basically. And if if they run in here, then I just I just lag along here. I go in. I try and pull them back. And it, sometimes when they have pushed this way too, I just I just go here, just to stand yeah. on point before we engage. Mm-hmm. Like, mm, I just uh, like if they get to this area, I think they will have a better position in terms of pointing than what we do. Yeah, but we'll have good sight lines for our supports, uh, and we'll all be alive, which is what's important, mm-hmm. right? Uh, again, first point holds on this map don't happen a ton. Um, it happens a lot if they use the sim strat. Like, we'll actually just clap them. But if they're not using the sim strat, then um, we have to be a little bit smart about how we engage and how we rotate. But the key thing is to keep our tanks between the other team and our supports, whatever that rotation looks like. Big pickle. Um, so second point, very simple. I want my Ana here all the time, 100% of the time. Um, the rest of the time, our setup can be a little bit different. Uh, this is the high ground on the right side right here. Um, putting a Winston up there and or a D.Va has been popular. You'll probably want to play the Brig. And what, what the fuck is, I, am I staging for if I'm sitting here as Winston? Uh, counter jumps. Um, I know you go Hammond a lot. That's yeah, they, that spot has spot been if they're goats. I don't know. It yeah. just feels like fucking suicide being Winston into it and you don't really do any damage yeah. Um, and Hammond's really good here because of the chokes and the mine. And you've got a lot that you can swing off of. And these um, those are the pillars on point. Yeah. Yes, um, they're good. So it's also a good setup. But you can put your three tank or your other three people on high ground with your dive tanks over there. But <laughs> the key thing is that you have your Anna back here. Right? You need yes. to be back here because you can see the high ground where your team is right to heal them and you can rotate out just a little bit just a little bit 
and you can see the whole map and then you can rotate back to avoid dying because what keeps happening right is i'll have like four people right here and my hammond will be set up to try and cleave this space and Diva will be like in transition and they'll run in past our hammock. <coughs> speed boost into here and half of you go this way and yeah, half of you die. Yeah, I think like what I've seen the most teams do is just like you said, like have the Brigitte, Zarya and Diva on the high ground um, on, the, on the right or like bottom right of this uh, second point in this yeah. picture. Here and then the Winston on the what is it called the uh, the uh, the place you uh, you can mark. This this what was the uh, call up for this thing? Can't yeah, remember what the call up for it. It's called but anyway, Island, right? Yeah, but yeah. Anyways, like here and then the Winston counter jump here if they are here and then Diana can land a big nade from here. Can, it's pretty good. Yeah, you can call it loft or, or balcony. By the way. Oh yeah. This space seems too long to jump in my head right now. It's not. No. It will actually you can even like jump. drop down here. The and then high jump. Ground, yeah. It's actually a really easy jump. Uh, it's probably different when I'm in game looking at mm, it. Yeah. But like yeah. from this perspective, I'm like that's too far. It's a bit higher than the left high ground too. Yeah. Mm. You have you have like the elevation now. Uh, Advantage to you, not well, I think it's because what is it called? I forget how tall the roof is in the middle on this point. It's really yeah. fucking tall. It is yeah. so. But like, it's uh, a good setup spot to play from as any dive tank. You can make the jump over to this high ground. Um, we played against a team that was running a Reinhardt comp in here, and they all held the high ground, but they still had a support back there. Uh, do you uh, have a question, though? Uh, yeah. If I'm playing over here, as you said, right? Mm -hmm. Will it, will it send be with me, or should it be like, uh, like there, kind of, so you can just bomb against It'll be with the team. It'll yeah. be the team, so it'll be up here, essentially. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what about, by the way, this is regarded, like, uh, with regards to the, uh, Tank positions, but what about like if we know the enemy is pushing like from here? What about if we have the monkey here, for example? No, I'll get clapped by sin. I have oh, very You're bad sidelines to what is You're it called? That sideline, you don't want that, right? Like, you don't want to be like you want to create as much of a vision split as possible. So, what you're doing here is you've got your Zarya here, your Anna here, and you've got your dive tanks coming in from over here. And you're coming in from three angles. And they're trying to limit the amount of vision split that can be done by coming through the doorway. But as soon as their Ryan shield gets here, it becomes a totally different game. Because you can land that nade in behind it. I can Especially if their diva's not paying attention. I can literally throw a nade in here. Like, literally. From yeah. where I'm, from, from here. And literally throw a nade all the way over there quite easily. Are, are you guys... Yeah. Or you hard engage into it. And then hit the nade after the hard engage so that you get the boosted heals and the anti heal. So basically, you'll jump in, and as soon as your Winston makes contact, uh, the group that's on high ground pushes in while Zen is backing downstairs, and um, you throw the nade with that so that it hits at about the same time as the dive. Tank. That way, the focus is somewhere else, um, or you can even wait until after bubbles. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Uh. At the dropping down part, uh, do we like wait till our Winston's here and then we just drop down together, or is it just like if they push whole team here, we just like instantly drop down? Um, ideally, we can pull off the engage on the high ground. I was about to say because as soon as you let them come out of here, it becomes a very different story if it's a Ryan comp. Yeah, but like holding this is with just uh, three tanks. Probably not gonna be enough. No, but see, if it's I let's say let's say the Reinhard Suo, right? He has made it out here, and his team is still in the hallway, right? Yeah, Me landing on this edge, or you standing here as the Saria, makes it very hard for you to get pressured by anything but the Reinhard, yeah. whoever's on this left side, right? So I should always be playing this area. Well, I'm saying you can, 
go to that side because even if you get pushed right there is this way down like if you really need to cut the line when we're coming right i hate that jump but yeah yeah but i'm just saying like it, it's an option and it's definitely a lot safer and you gotta remember when you're playing the wide angle it's super easy for yashu to hit you there like even behind the shield yeah but what most of the time happens when i do this jump is people just like from here we're not over yeah, here but just like but here. this jump down here is panic jump is not actual yeah. rotation because we want to take the fight and we want to win right here you know yeah okay. so it's like oh shit our monkey got clapped in one second and they're pushing me now okay i can buy a bit of time by jumping down here you can still get pocketed this way Right. Yeah, so I just like rotate around here. And you here. don't even need to give up high ground immediately and if you are not getting chased. But yeah. So it, it's uh, just more the point that it's very good for you to stand on this. Because one, you don't get sniped if they have anything here, right? You close off those windows. Yeah. And it's very hard for the Reinhardt's teammates to actually punish you as you come in. Mm -hmm. I think so. Would it be smart to place the diva here? Um, because if they go to main, then diva can go in and boop them down. Um, mm -hmm. um, so, so you'll, uh, if like, I'm that here. close, then if yeah, they're coming yeah, high yeah. ground, then they can you pressure would, me really easily. Yeah, you would only play your diva there up until the other team gets about right here. Because by then they've made a decision whether they want to go top or main. And if they rotate top, then D.Va has to get the hell out. Um, and by that, I mean she probably just walked back over to this side. Because... Yeah, I usually hang out on this side. Yeah. And that's where you'd want to hang out anyways. Right? So, um, you'd put your D.Va down here with the rest of your... What up? Sorry. You're just saying you break, right? And then any direction okay. they push from, they're covered. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I, uh, tried one thing with Moose regarding to the uh, earlier point I made. And, uh, like, you can place yourself here without, like, being in the line of sight of Sen. And what no, I was, no, uh, no. what I was thinking, like, my, my thinking behind that, uh, was mainly that you don't have to expand, like, if you're here, you have to pretty much always use your jump to, like, go, uh, anywhere here. So pretty much you can just drop from the uh, uh, high ground on top of the point. Yeah, but, but let me give you a real story here, he, right? In this, in this okay. corner, the jump is basically worth nothing. The roof is so tiny. Yeah. Yeah. So you basically can't move with the jump anyway. Like at most, you'll make it like here, you know? Probably. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? Big, big most, you, <laughs> most you can make is what? Like to this, like this distance, I think. Because of the roof that's above in that corner. Like He's me saying, having the jump doesn't make it. No, no, no. On top of the point. Yeah, Pickle on top of right, the roof. Though, look at the line that Pickle drew, right? What if line? we know that they're rotating right, you're still going to have to jump here. If yes. they rotate any other direction, He's going to be dead. I don't like the main sideline too onto that yeah. thing. Yeah, but that that's oh. why I uh like I understand it's like in most cases it's better to be on the uh uh yeah. position you earlier uh pointed out, but like in, in the scenario where we have information they're trying to make the push onto uh yeah, in this case up right. Um But then, then I uh, let's say let's play a play here. standard here, right? Kerry? Then I have to make the jump over here using the cooldown anyway, and then we have to pretty much make sure that they don't, what do you call it, push, push while you're standing it, 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 until it's ready, because then I can't help here, and then you get definitely have to fall back down, right? Also, it's really dangerous to let, if they have a senyata, to let him set up here for free. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because as soon as he's up there and his team gets on the floor, it becomes a fucking nightmare to deal with. Especially if we have to contest point with the main group and don't really like we can't really leave to just try and slow frag us in, right? No. Yeah, then in the meantime you get clapped while we do it. I yeah. Fair. 
All right, please proceed. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. By the way, this works with Hammond as well. This is also totally doable with Hammond. I know that you like to play the Hammond in this goats. Um. The same principles all still apply. The swings are the same as a jump. You pile drive. The only difference is that you can't kite as easily on the Hammond in terms of like dropping down and then jumping right back up. Um, it does make that harder, and you don't put out as much cleave. Right? Your cleave comes from pile driver. If you're not hitting pile driver, we're not getting any cleave. So, it's it's got a slightly better ult. It's better for the stall. It's good for the mobility. Um, but it doesn't get the same cleave. It doesn't have the same engage potential, I would say, because you've got that powerful cleave burst with the pile driver, but you don't have the same um, staying power with the Hammond as you do with the Winston, in my opinion, because you're not putting out as much pressure on as many targets um, through the shields. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're it depends a lot. More if they have Brigitte the armor, then everything you said completely falls. When they don't have Brigitte the armor, then I agree. Um, <clears throat> well, they're going to be able to shield the Hammond, right? They're going to be able to shield the what? Hammond damage. Yes. And no, it, it... In this corner, yes. But usually, I always try to vision split with it when I'm actually mm -hmm. shooting. So Ryan has to pick a side to block from. If that makes sense. Play, we're putting out damage onto a single target with one less person, right? Because your vision's splitting the Ryan. So your damage is either getting through and someone else's is not, or their damage is and yours is not. But um, the cleave is important versus the armor. Because it whittles away everybody's armor. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does clear out the armor for every single person. So, I mean, versus an active rally, it's not as good. But versus um, passive armor, I would argue that it's better because the cleave gives everybody else the opportunity to do meaningful damage on those targets. Does that make sense? Mm hmm. Um, that's why Winston's still good, but Tracer is not, because Tracer can only hit one person, and she does actually no damage to armor, but even though the Winston doesn't do much damage to armor, you're still burning it off of four, five, six people all at once. Um, another thing that we can do, though, is we can also still just run the Reinhardt comp up here. It's old strat, but it's totally viable to run your Reinhardt comp up here, and you play your Reinhardt here, and you play, like, your Zarya here, um, or your Diva there or something for a vision split, right? Where you're not going to get punished, and you still run your Anna back here. And you run the whole rest of your team up top. It's not a complicated strat. It's got really good ults. It cycles really well. You've got a lot of good engage opportunity, right? Um, if they push main, you rotate your Zen here, you have your Anna play back here, and then you can drop from high ground onto them there. Um, it's it's really solid and it works really really well i don't know if we're necessarily determined not to give up the mobility but it is a very good strat to be able to hold this point in this current meta just run five people on the side ground the reinhardt doing your anna back here Okay. How about attack? On the attack, we keep uh, ending up in a weird situation. Uh, yeah, Kerry? Uh, I actually had one more question uh, regarding okay. the uh, second point defense. So I'm not sure how uh, common it is nowadays, but like back in the day, they like people used to run a lot of like um, hit scan uh, setup strats where they like try to set up the hit scan on the there. yes yes like yeah. how do we play against that like this current current meta um, if we're running the dive tanks then what we do is we do exactly what I already told you to do which is try and get your clean engage off early on if that doesn't happen 
we kite, and we... Um, we bring it and Zarian, like, involved from the high ground as well? Um, we try and get the engage off really early on, right? Like, we jump yeah. in with everybody. Um, and if it didn't work, then we drop the kite, and then we re-engage our dive tanks onto it. If we're running the Reinhardt composition, and they rotate this way, right? They rotate over to here, and we still have all of this high ground over there. Hmm. Um, we don't have to do anything until they exactly. drop. Yeah. Because Anna can just go back in here. She's safe. It, and she can still heal you while yes, being safe. Exactly. Yep. Right? Like, if you're playing back here, you can still get play in the sight lines, right? So, what they're going to do is they're going to set up their long range players over here, and then they're going to look to drop. But their long range players aren't going to stay up here because we're still on the high ground, which means we can just run over there and beat them to death, right? Hmm. So, they're also going to drop into main. At which point we can go over there and drop down to clap them, or we can drop onto their front lines and clap them. But, yeah, if they stay up there when their tanks drop to try and go to point, then we run over there and kill them real quick. And we maybe send D.Va to contest? Maybe? Probably not, though. Probably yeah. don't even need to. I think that was, like, the main concern I'd ha I had, because, like, the scenario I see uh, in my head is, like, they have, like, well, unlikely, but, like, let's say they have, like, a soldier here, or, like, uh -huh. victory or whatever. And then, like, uh, we are uh, a bit slow to, for example, prevent them from setting up, and then they have, like, some part of their team, like, maybe, like, uh, main tank and off tank and uh, the other DPS, like, go on point. Mm -hmm. And then, like, uh, we have this situation where we need to make the decision whether we, like, uh, fully engage with like our guys on this high ground here onto the uh, onto this catwalk, or uh, whether we go and stall the point. So, if we yeah. agree like that, if it's going to contest, then then that's fine. But the sin is here, right? My heal's gonna be here. So if the tanks drop and they leave the hit scan, he needs to take cover. I was mainly Assuming talking about that... the uh, I was mainly talking about the uh, floats uh, situation, like yeah, where you are. And where, yeah. If we have the yeah. dive tanks, then what but, you do is you just drop your Zarya down, and your dive tanks go and clean up the back line. Right? All right. Fair enough. But, yeah. And I should be moving with uh, Zarya when he drops down? Um, no, you should maintain some perspective, right? So the Zarya will drop down on a point, and you'll stay up here for a second to see where you need to be, right? Because it could be that you're dive tanks eat a massive amount of damage mm. and your Ana's playing further back, right? So she yeah. doesn't have the sight lines to the catwalk, yeah. and that's when your healing comes into play. Um, because she can heal the Zarya, or you go, okay, they've got this, and you go down with the Zarya. All right. You don't want to, like, just jump into the middle of the other team without seeing, oh, hey, this is where I should be, or this is who needs my healing kind of thing. Mm. Um, so for the attack, we keep running into the May strat, and we've had mixed success breaking it. Goats is still good versus May. We can speed through the choke, it's totally viable. It's been done before. You can be done again. Um... Also, our Farah Widow kind of composition is looking a little bit better, but we have to take the space a little bit more aggressively. Um, but I'm in favor of generally just sticking with the goats. One other thing you can do is we can go to the McCree comp. We've tried that before, right? The thing that we're worried about right now is the choke. We don't want to get split off in the choke, right? But I'm going to be choke. honest, I'm just worried about playing Ryan into May with the way we pull down. Yeah. Almost always I feel like I end up not being able to like determine anything of how it goes because I'm always going to be frozen as soon as I drop my shield. Mm -hmm. That's honestly how I feel whenever we're playing against the May. But if you're hard shielding and you have a McCree and they have a May, right, mm -hmm. who has the advantage, 
Well, we should, unless the Reinhardt is holding left click on me, the May is holding left click on me, and I can't pressure back, which is sometimes what happens and why we get rolled over by it. Mm -hmm. And that's when it becomes absolutely, absolutely like unbearable. Where I can't, I can't like, can't give them more space, can't play aggressive. We're not killing them fast enough or punishing them is what I usually feel like happens. Yeah. And I just fucking hate that situation. Like, I don't know why it even comes to that. Well, for that, we have bubbles and flashbang. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. feel the amount of times like where it's just been happening where I'm like, please pressure. And it's not the happening. reason why that happens is when we use those abilities, nothing happens. It's not because you're not getting them. Like we are bubbling you. I mean, we haven't played. Yes, like, but it happens too early. Too much, but... Like it, it happens at the start instead of when I'm about to freeze usually, which makes me having to like I have to play defensive. Yeah, which is something yes. that's more on the Daria player. So you know, Pickle Suo, right? Wait until the freeze is almost through. You can even wait until I am frozen, like just freeze because it dispels it. Um, does it completely dispel it if you're already frozen? I don't think it, it does. I it does. It does I, yeah, I think you're still being slowed, but you're frozen, but you're bubbled. Yeah, yeah. Let's I go test that. that. I've seen Perfect. it. Like that should be something you should go test. Mm -hmm. Do that I'll real quick. With I want to grab a drink. I need Maybe I can wait third three person. minutes at most. Let's fucking go, Pico. Custom game, let's go. We can try it in. I'm already in a custom game with I'm Moose, I think. <laughs> Carry, come out of your spawn. Yeah. Uh, if it works that way, then it's gonna be a lot more simple. The Wait. melee disabled? Why are you on the same team? Sorry. I can't change. I'm already here. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I need to show you something first. Suwa go May. Come. Where did Suwa go? No. Carry, where are you at? Where did Suwa go? No, the flashback doesn't work. No! Oh no! Michael, are you the leader of this lobby? No. Who's the leader of this lobby? Momo. He was. Did he disable May or something? Probably. Oh my god, <laughs> you're actually... No, sorry, I'm sorry, I went back with me, but uh, I was walking to spawn. <laughs> but then my spawn disappeared, I don't know where the bucket was, so I just decided to restart the lobby. Why is melee? Why is one? my fucking charge? Why does it have... Why do Why do I have like fucking 30 second cooldowns, dude? Oh yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you're in the enemy team. Uh, anyway, so do you have your cooldowns? Yes. Okay, let's go. Just completely freeze me and then bubble me. See? Huh. Yeah. Where are you? Well, he's not gonna have it for like 10 years. <laughs> but there you go. Like, I was pretty sure that's how it worked. Oh, no damage. Unfair! <laughs> he's hacking. <laughs> okay, you guys figure it out? Yep, yes. it works that way. It dispels okay. the freeze entirely, even if you're frozen. In that case, yeah, just wait until he's. And frozen. Um, I'll get him eventually. If they don't have, or if they have shatter, I can be a little bit more careful than that. Try and keep them not frozen. But uh, you know, if they don't have shatter, then you can wait all the way up to that point. Obviously, don't want to waste flashbang as Cesaria bubble. But um. Yeah, that's how we want to play this. And the cool thing about running the McCree comp right on point A huh? is that it transitions really well to point B in that idea where we can put the McCree on the high ground, right? Like we take this high ground positioning on point B and we have our McCree probably with dead eye is on the point. Um, it also gives us the opportunity to try and pressure the top right depending on what they're running. Um, so, like, if they're running a heavy Reinhardt-based comp on the top right, and we push this way and rotate our range DPS back to this side, again, we should have shield advantage 
versus the other team, right? In terms of just pressure, which allows us to hard shield a little bit more than them. Um, if they're running the May, we can't go this way. But if they're not running the May, we can go this way because we have the McCree to check for the vision splits. And we just basically you run your McCree up your Reinhardt's ass. And if something's over here trying to vision split while their team rotates back towards stairs, you flashbang them and you fan the hammer delete them. Fun ability like that. Right? It's all about just getting through this doorway into that high ground. And we can bully them off the high ground. And then you just, um, after you bully them off the high ground, you drop your tanks to point, you rotate your back line to catwalk, and you clap them. It's yes. that simple. Um, so the McCree comp is like really, really straightforward for point A and for point B. Uh, for point A, you're going to come in here through main all together, and then you're going to go into this room all together. And then, from there, you're going to determine what to do, right? Uh, the Cree comp is good versus pretty much any defense on this map. So, I mean, unless we run into like no, it will work versus that too. It's good pretty much versus anything. Um, except for like Hanzo Genji dive. That that might be terrible to play again. But um, from there, from this little room here, we see where they're set up. And then we determine a push, right? And you have pretty much three pushes. You have bottom. You have top. And you have main. Whatever push you do, you have to avoid getting split. Hmm. Some people like to go top because if they wall you off here, right? Um, if versus the main comp, they throw the wall here, right? And they split your tanks out in the open. You just drop off the high ground and go back into the building. You regroup and you push out before the cooldown comes back up, and now you're pushing bottom instead of top. They may comp, they don't have Winston, so I don't even mind just shielding, mm -hmm. you know? Because what's going to shoot me, May and Sen, basically, yeah. and Lucio. That's about it, right? And then Sari is gonna, not going to have any good engage here. So, just going to take over. Um, yeah, so Jeff, I'm not sure if you've gone through the map, but the other team are just about ready, so... Okay, yeah, I think we've gone through enough of this map. 